hating ass sick bitches, right? That y'all take pictures of, of videos of me with no makeup while I'm in motion and be like, oh, look how Cardi, she looks so weird without no makeup. This is me with no makeup. No filter. You can see all the, you know, the little blemishes on my face. Shit, you can see my lips so chapped. I've been biting it all night. I just woke up 20 minutes ago. They didn't even brush my hair. Like, I feel good. You bitches, every single time a bitch is feeling good, like y'all be doing to the other young lady, when y'all see them doing so good, y'all be trying to put their confidence down. That don't work on me anymore. I just want to let y'all know that I feel comfortable in my skin, that I'm great, that I'm happy. My record is doing great. And just because you got so much hatred in your heart that when I do great, y'all want to put it down, you can't. I'm going to stay on top. With this face, with this natural face, makeup or not, a bitch is doing good. Now suck dick because y'all bitches is wash. Wash. The internet's newest villains have not only rolled up the whole of social media, but also come for Cardi B. From bullying allegations, getting doxxed, to publicly getting on the Bronx rapper's bad side. How did these two average girls become the internet's public enemy overnight? We were not bullying her. Lit's Mad Regal and Alondra Palette first came under fire after being spotted at a baseball game, reportedly mocking an influencer for posing for pictures. TikToker Jackie LaBonita shared to her socials videos showing the two women laughing, name-calling, filming, and flipping off the influencer. In the video's caption, Jackie wrote, please be nice, and include the hashtags Mean Girls and Mean Girl Vibes. Taking on a life of its own, the video went mega viral, sparking think pieces, reaction videos, and outrage spilling over to other platforms. As the internet spiraled with rage, Jackie turned off comments and stitches. As social media users got all fired up, internet vigilantes exposed both Lit's and Alondra's places of work, study, and even went as far to dox their home addresses. But the bully gate even rolled up fellow celebs. Sharing to her 29 million followers, Cardi posted the viral video stating, I would have put that ring to use. Unable to avoid the backlash, the alleged bullies posted an apology video addressing the shit show head on. She used her um, editing skills and marketing skills to her advantage and used it in a very disgusting way. The viral sensations explained their version of events and even accused Jackie's alleged husband made them feel uncomfortable by filming them for 10 to 15 minutes. The flicking off was aimed towards the camera because um, her husband had been recording for over maybe five to 10 minutes which continue to make us uncomfortable. However, many felt that the video came across narcissistic and lacked an actual apology altogether. But things took a turn when Litz and Alondra addressed Cardi's tweet, commenting, So Cardi B posting on Twitter, I personally don't think it's okay to be promoting violence. Are social media right to hold people accountable for their actions? Or are internet vigilantes wrong to play God and dish out punishment?